<laughs> By gum, that's what you call a car, isn't it? Well, here we are once again in beautiful Lancashire. But as you can see, the weather's not that good, is it? No. So what does one do on a day out in Lancashire when the weather's like this? Well, we've found a very unique place because here you can incorporate a bit of shopping and a few motor vehicles along the way. So we've come along to check it out. Now then, once you're inside, you can unload some right little treasures. Check this mate out here. Ooh, first, I'm going to put my hat on because I've got to look the part, haven't I? Right, here we go. Of course, left. Right, now this fella here, his name's Dennis, and he was one of two fire engines built for Stoke on Trent Fire Brigade. It was built in 1968. Now, he did his job, bless him, put lots of fires out, but it's a bit temperamental. He did get a bit wound up sometimes. Oh, imagine having to do that every time you have to put a fire out. God, blimey. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh, and this is George. Bless him, he's lovely. I do like a man in uniform. And George very kindly lent me his hat. Come on, George, give it a hand up. Oh, it's a bit Oh, God, blimey. Now, there's not much luxury inside a fire engine, I'm afraid. I wouldn't exactly call it a walnut dash, but it is made out of wood. And you've got like a metal plate here. Um, very basic, just a, a rev counter, um, a, a clock, obviously, you know, tell you, is it tea time yet? It's very basic iron steering wheel and uh, iron foot pedals and a very cranky gear shift. Don't know about all that. Hmm. Red leather seats, though, that's always quite a nice touch, isn't it? Right, moving on, because we've not just got one fire engine. Oh, oh, nearly got two. Now, this one here, this is an Albion. Let's call him Albie for short, because it sounds quite cute, doesn't it? And Albie's quite old. He was built in 1940, and he's been all over the country putting lots of little fires out, so we like him, don't we? Little dinky steering wheel, look, little windscreen wipers. Isn't it all cute? They don't make them like they used to, do they? Right, time for a change of scenery now, I think. We'll George's back in a moment. And we'll don this one. Whew, that's heavy, crikey. Right, now this vehicle over here is an M16 multiple gun carrier. Now this would have housed five men, which would consist of one driver, one commando, two gunners and one loader. Also, four machine guns would be placed in the back of here, letting off between 400 to 500 rounds a minute. That's quite something, isn't it? It's fully armour plated, you can see here, that lets down, so and that goes up. If you fancy a little nap, you could go to sleep in there. We've got a winch here on the front. Get you out of a spot of bother if you needed it. And moving on to this one over here. Now, this one is basically a people carrier, which would have carried the soldiers, etc. Uh, but what makes, makes them both very special, they were both moved in the 1966 movie Evita, which starred Madonna. So uh, that's quite something, I'd say. Um, I'm not too sure about the paint job, though. It's a bit, a bit boring, is it? Camely beige colour. Looks like it's been painted with a carrot, but there we are. Right, moving on. Mm, now, what have we over here? An old American Edson. That's pretty smart, isn't it? Don't know about the colour though, but I'll tell you what, it wouldn't have looked out of place cruising down Santa Monica Boulevard, was it? We'll take a look over here at this old oil drum. Now, that's pretty cute. Very nice. And this 1920s old petrol pump, eh? Now, that is an oldie. Goodness me, but the dad's got one of them in his garage. Take a look on the wall here. We've got all these old front grills and those number plates. All these old hub caps and wheel trims. Look at this one, eh? All chrome. Hey, doubles up as a great mirror, though, doesn't it? Do you know what? I think I fancy a spot of shopping. 